Hello everyone and welcome to my EastEnders Media News Channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Returning to its usual spot, EastEnders Spoilers reports that things are at last looking up for George Knight. Fans of the BBC One soap opera are aware that he has experienced both the adopted child and the murder mystery. But at last, the character's situation on the program appears to be improving. Now that Junior, his son, and his clandestine family have arrived in Walford, George will undoubtedly like to spend time with his large family. Discover what is in store for him by continuing to read. Spoilers for EastEnders verify George's magnificent opportunity upcoming. Frequent watchers of the BBC One Soap Opera are aware of the unbelievable experiences the landlord of Queen Vic has had. He found out earlier this year that he was adopted under the terms of a baby farming contract. George later learned that his biological father had been killed by Eddie, the man he named his father. As if he didn't already have enough on his plate, his mother passed suddenly in his arms after suffering a heart attack in the courtroom. A person experiencing so many experiences one after the other is not typical. That's how problems in the soap industry tend to pile up on someone. In addition, George entered a covert boxing club during this turbulent emotional period. Despite the fact that a brain ailment may make something like a boxing club lethal. According to EastEnders teasers, Johnny meets with his estranged son Junior after returning to the ring. Watchers will witness George feeling pushed aside as Gina and Anna attempt to patch things up with his half-brother. He will meet Junior's secret family next week, and when the news hits, he'll be horrified. Seeing their extended family will make the entire Knight family very happy. However, we are aware that drama for them is imminent. When George spends time with his new daughter-in-law and grandchild, we will witness his excitement. Monique would assist him in making connections with them by enlightening him about her Ghanaian background. Up until Junior's cheating incident is made public, everything is going well. Is Monique planning a brief visit? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. Next week, two well-known characters from the BBC soap opera EastEnders will return, and one of them might be getting married to a recent arrival. Viewers can now confirm that M.O. Harris, also known as Big M.O., and her great-grandson Freddie Slater are making a big comeback. Following his run-in with villain Theo Hawthorne towards the end of last year, Freddie moved in with M.O. at her caravan, while actor Bobby Brazier took a break from filming to compete in Strictly Come Dancing. After spending months away, he has returned to Walford, accompanied by Layla Morse, a fan favorite, as soap opera legend M.O. The two create trouble right away because of their unexpected entrance at the residence, leading Alfie Moon to believe they are robbers. The Slaters are happy to have Emo and Freddy back now that their true identities have been revealed, but there are soon rumors circulating that Cat Slater and Alfie Moon may be getting back together. However, Emo is eyeing newcomer Stevie Mitchell, so that's not the only romance that's being hinted at. To the amazement of Freddy, Anna, and Bobby, the couple returns to number 31 to finish their evening after enjoying a drink together. Could this be the beginning of the two of them developing a new romance? Emo did make a special cameo after leaving Walford in 2021 to go on a cruise with her fiancé, Fat Elvis, who she had briefly dated. Layla expressed her excitement about returning to EastEnders earlier this year, saying, I'm coming home to Walford to bring Emo back to life. I have such a special place in my heart for EastEnders, and I can't wait to see old and new faces again, as well as my on-screen family, who are like family. We are absolutely delighted to welcome back Layla Morse to the role of M.O. Harris, said executive producer Chris Clenshaw. Despite her brief absence from the square, the Slater family has seen a great deal of turmoil since she last starred on TV, and Mo's homecoming won't be any different. We are thrilled to have Layla return indefinitely as she and great-grandson Freddie, played by Bobby Brazier, are thrown into the center of the action. 
According to Natalie Cassidy, an EastEnders star, her kid is her toughest critic. The seven-year-old Joni skips ahead to the scenes featuring her mother since she is not a fan of Albert Square icon Sonia Fowler. Natalie, 41, remarked, she'll say, Mummy, Sonia is so dull. Honestly, I just don't enjoy watching you on this platform. I tell them, I've been around for a while, darling, and a lot of people like me. Well, I'm not one of them, she remarks. She really skips over my parts, but I'm not sure if that's because I'm her mother or just how she views Sonia. During the period Natalie has been in the soap opera, Sonia has become pregnant at the age of 15, lost her beloved Jamie Mitchell, gone through a difficult marriage to Martin Fowler, and experienced a cancer scare. I'm sure Sonia will end one day, stated Natalie. I hope she can go on a little bit longer about being a nurse. I hope she doesn't pass away horribly. I don't want her to be shoved or run over at the tube station in Walford. In an interview with singer Sophie Ellis Bexter for the Spinning Plates podcast, the mother of two described her special relationship with her late co-star June Brown, Dot Cotton. June would have been in the mid-70s when I was 20, the woman stated. We would go on vacation, practice our lines, drink red wine, and she would stay at my house. She has raised five children during her entire career. She demonstrated how to do everything. Honey needs to intervene when things get dangerously close to going violent. Billy is appalled at how much he is becoming his father. Subsequently, Billy receives advice from Phil to keep Stevie close. He advises Billy to find out why Stevie is truly returned and what his true desires are. 6. Billy is in search of clarification. Billy asks to know what Stevie wants and extends an invitation for a drink. Simply put, Stevie claims to be an elderly man who is lonely and wants to get to know his family. Is he being honest, though? Will Billy accept him, too? 7. George receives alarming medical information. When the girls inform George that Gloria's burial took place without him, George is saddened. In order for George to say his own goodbyes, Gina and Anna plan to host a memorial in the Vic. George is receiving medical attention on the day of the memorial due to his involvement in another unlawful altercation the previous evening. In an attempt to hide it, he becomes lightheaded and nearly passes out. After realizing what has transpired, Cindy and Phil drive George to the hospital. After receiving several knocks to the head, he is brought in for a CAT scan, which reveals he has a brain disease. George is warned that taking a serious knock during one more fight could be fatal. Will he, however, give in to logic? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.